Hey guys, this is Kyla Mo coming to you. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about um, some important info regarding firearm license and weapon carry license or uh, concealed carry license. And I will be talking to you about some of the some of the characteristics of the license themselves and what they what they mean in essence. Um, there there are some stark differences from the way the license is presented now from when I first received my um, firearm license. And every state is different. And it's, it's vitally important that you look up um, the probate court in your state or the probate court in your county to determine the requirements and the qualifications needed for you to apply for a carry permit or for a weapons permit. So uh, make sure you look that up. Make sure you um, look and see how much it's going to be for the application, for the fingerprinting, because fingerprints are needed in some states. They do require you to take a class. They do require you to take training. In some states, that is not a requirement. Um, so it's vitally important that you read those requirements to see if there's anything that you may need to do before you apply for your firearms or your concealed carry weapons license. Um, in certain states, the term of the license, it depends. So read up on all of that, do your research, do your due diligence to find as much information that is needed before you apply for the carry arm license. Read your state law. Um, read those state codes if need be. Some licenses provide that law, literally, they provide that law on the back of the carry or the firearm license. If they don't do it now, they used to. I remember having one from years ago where the law was actually on the back. So if they don't, if they're, if the law is no longer on the back, you may need to read it to get acclimated with what the law says and see if there are anything that you could become familiar with. What does you carrying a firearm permit? What does it say that you can or cannot do? What does it say specifically about where and where you cannot carry it? See what it says regarding um, if you can carry it concealed or you cannot carry it concealed. There are places around where carrying a firearm is a no-no, no matter what the circumstances are. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't carry the firearm in a courthouse. You can't carry a firearm at the post office. So you have to know your surroundings and where you're going. A lot of people say, oh, just don't get caught. You can you can keep it on you, just don't get caught. That's all well and good, but why not have the mindset, okay, I'm about to go into the courthouse. I'm going to have to leave it. I can't take it in here. And then with all the courthouses being surveillance the way they are, 
and then you're having to go through security, the checkpoints, you can't bring the gun through there no way. Um, even when you go into the post office and quite a few other places that forbid um, you to bring a firearm on their premises or on or in their establishment those are things that you have to consider and those are things that you have to be mindful of so um it's just something to think about as you do start to carry and as you do start to apply for these firearm license licenses through your state and through your county um the application fees they vary they vary from county to county, state to state. The fingerprinting fees, they vary from county to county, state to state. So you have to have that in place. You know, uh, once you find out what the total amount is, you have to have that in place. Then some places don't take cash anymore. It has to be on debit card, credit card, or some places still take a check. Some places still take cash. So just just those um those housekeeping items you need to be aware of. Um so most of the time you have to be 21. In some states you can be earlier than that. Um in I believe in the state of Georgia, you can be 21. That you 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 need to be 21, but if you are in the service or if you are in the armed forces, you know, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, um, National Guard, and you are between the age of 18 and 20 or 18 and 21, then you can apply for a, a firearm license. You can apply for a concealed carry license in the state of Georgia and you will get it because you are in the military. So, um, you know, of course, you know, with that, you know, you have to prove to them that you are in the military and that you are um, actually enlisted and they will issue you a, a, a carry conceal or a weapons permit for the state of Georgia. So those, um, like I said, those housekeeping things, those, those items, um, they need to be looked at and attend to. And, um, of course, there are some things that will prohibit you from getting your firearm license as well in the state of Georgia. So, again, read the information that is provided to you. Look at the websites. Read every detail concerning the weapons permit okay again you must be in certain states you must be 21 unless you're in the military you can be 18 and apply for one um you must show that you are a resident of that county that you're trying to get that license in and again it's pretty much straightforward i just encourage everyone to please just go to your state or your county that you live in pull up their probate or pull up their court system whichever court um issues the weapon license that's the court that you need to pull up and read and research the information on so you can be very so you can be very aware of what is needed so that you can get your weapons permit. So that's all that I have for tonight. That's all that I have for today. Um, I hope I was able to share some things with you and help you out to learn a little bit more about carry license and weapon license. So I may do a part two to this. I haven't decided yet, but um, 
like, share, comment my channel. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. And I hope I was able to shed some light on carry, conceal, or weapon license. How they look and what they represent fully. Remember, if you are in a state that does not require you to have training before you get a concealed license, please, please, please take training. Go to class. Become familiar with your gun. Become familiar with the, the, with the responsibility that you are undertaking. Do not just get your carry license and have your weapon and don't do anything. Take a class, go to the range, familiarize yourself with the responsibility that you're undertaking because it is a responsibility. So I just encourage you just to learn as much as you can about your firearm and get as much training as you can. But if you are in a state that requires you to take training before you get your license, then I applaud you and I said thank you for taking that class um, because it means that you are more you're more knowledgeable with your firearm and what it is that you're doing and you're become you you are becoming or you have become a responsible firearms owner and I appreciate that so that's all I have for right now this is Kyla Mo. You guys have a great evening.